All right, so I'm going to be making a lot more uh, of these sort of off-the-cuff vlog-style videos for the Dream Vlog channel. And uh, I want to start off by just saying that I've, I'm doing an experiment at the moment with uh, a supplement called Hoopazine A. Now, for the many of you who already know about lucid dreaming supplements, Hoopazine A is basically, uh, I believe it's called an acetylcholine esterase inhibitor. So it's going to basically stop your body breaking down acetylcholine, um, which ultimately leads to more awareness and more chance of not only remembering dreams, but also having lucid dreams. Uh, so Hoopazine A is, yeah, probably one of the weaker lucid dreaming supplements. I think Galantamine is a stronger version. It does pretty much the same thing. Um, so yeah, I had my first experiment with that last night. I haven't experimented with Hoopazine A for a long time, not since I tried things like Lucidesque and Dreamleaf and uh, a couple of other supplements. And yeah, so it's an interesting experiment I want to try. I'm going to be doing a uh, wake back to bed with a Hoopazine A supplement. So I'll, yeah, I guess wake up at sort of 4 a.m., take the Hoopazine A supplement, go back to sleep with the intention of lucid dreaming. Yeah, pretty standard uh, wake back to bed technique. Nothing really special about that, but that's, yeah, the experiment I'm going to be doing over the next sort of month or so. I'm also going to be doing, um, actually taking choline butartrate as well, so that my acetylcholine levels are high, um, so that when I go to sleep, they're already fairly high, and then I go uh, have sort of six hours of sleep or something like that, and then take the uh, busy A when I do the wake back to bed. So pretty standard procedures for lucid dreaming supplements. That's pretty normal, you know, that's that's how most people do it. I've stayed away from supplements for a, yeah, a fairly long time. I've done the old review and, and the old test here and there, but uh, I always prefer to do natural lucid dreaming methods. You know, I don't like, I don't like relying on supplements for anything, you know, not just lucid dreaming, but uh, whatever it is, weight loss, muscle gain, whatever. I don't like using supplements. So um, I've been a bit averse to doing that in the past, but yeah, let's see what happens. Wow, this video is very short. Uh, it's been a while since I did a vlog style video, but I now have everything set up so that I can actually record and publish these videos entirely from my phone, which I didn't know I could do before. I thought it had to be edited properly in um, on my computer and then uploaded through YouTube that, in that way, but I can actually now do it on my phone. So I think this is gonna be very good. I'm gonna be able to make a lot more videos just randomly like this. And it's going to let me talk about topics and reply to you guys much faster. So you may have noticed I've been putting out a lot more content recently. And there's a reason for that. I want to make sure that in this coming couple of years, Lucid Dreaming reaches a much wider audience. I'm going to, I'm going to be pushing it uh, more and more in different places on social media. I'm now posting every day to social, all social media platforms. Uh, so a lot of that content will be reused. So I might post a video to Instagram and then post the same video to, to Facebook, for example. So yeah, if you do see duplicate stuff, don't worry too much, you know, don't freak out. It's not the end of the world, it just means that, uh, you know, there might be some people who are on Facebook who don't follow me on YouTube, and it's just a way of making sure everyone sees the content, basically. Um, so yeah, expect a lot more of that. What I, would, what I would suggest to do, actually, is just to pick a, a social media platform where you would like to see content from me, and then just follow me there, and then don't worry about following me on the other ones. Unless you want to follow me everywhere in order to get, you know, reality check reminders or something. Maybe you like my tweets or Instagram stories or something like that. And it's a, a better way of, uh, you know, getting reminders to do reality checks. Getting reminders to be aware, to write your dreams down and that sort of thing. Yeah, so first night results for the experiment. What happened was I woke up, I think, about 4.30. But I woke up a few times before then because I knew I needed to wake up to take the pill. So I... Uh, I guess my mind just sort of ran with that idea and woke me up about five times before then. So I've actually, I'm actually pretty tired now. I wouldn't recommend this technique for long term, uh, but I never have. You know, the wake back to bed technique, I've always suggested that you do that sparingly, maybe once a week at most. Um, yeah, so I took the Hoopazine A tablet. Not much happened, but I think that's because my choline levels were low anyway. So it didn't have anything to it didn't have anything to stop my body breaking down. You know, the way the Hoopazine A works is it stops your body uh, eating up the, the acetylcholine that's already in your system. Acetylcholine levels naturally lower during the night. So I think what actually happened was I had no acetylcholine or a very low amount of acetylcholine. So when I took the Hoopazine A, it 
didn't have anything to, to work on. It didn't have any anything to do. So uh, tonight I'm going to try a different method. Uh, and that is just to take choline maybe with dinner or, you know, a couple of hours before going to bed um, so that I have high choline levels, uh, high acetylcholine levels, meaning that the hoopizine A will have more to do. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, leave a comment letting me know what you think. And like I said, yeah, I can post a lot more on this channel. Um, but my main channel is where I make the proper edited videos with better audio. Uh, but this is just, yeah, if I just want to talk about a random topic, this is where I'll do it. So make sure you follow me here and just search How to Lucid or howtolucid.com on uh, your favourite social media. Now, I'm actually on TikTok now, believe it or not. I thought that was um, a dead platform. I didn't really see the point in that platform, but I think it's actually quite a good way of getting a short video across um yeah seems to be going all right so just search house loose on there if you're on tiktok i don't know how many of you are but and yeah i'll see you in the next video